Hi everybody and now and here we are once again for 100 days of Facebook Live interviews with you, the members of NOW. And there are almost 900 of us in this group and it is all, it's impossible to get to know every single one and you know to be honest that will never happen. But it's nice that we can actually get to know 100 members in NOW and today we are going to be talking to Dawn. So hi Dawn. Hi. And Dawn is going to tell us um, who she is and what she does. So I think we'll just go straight over to Dawn and ask her, Dawn, who are you and what do you do? Who am I? Well, I am Dawn Thompson and I'm a therapist. Um, I use neuro-linguistic programming, emotional freedom technique, hypnosis and coaching methods. And I help people transform their lives by transforming the way they think about their lives essentially um so i work with 90 percent of my clientele is women um between the ages of about 25 and 60. um but i also work with men and teenagers because a lot of my work is all about releasing the blocks and the expectations that society or family or other people put on you and living your life the way that you want to is an authentic person. So that's essentially what I do. Um, I've been doing it for 13 years. I love it. And um, if you go onto my website, you'll see that my uh, strap lines are love. I've helped them with sexual issues, um, enjoying better sex, having being able to physically have sex um, where they might not have been able to before. Um, and things as basic, as fundamental as getting the plane or finding themselves and rewriting their own life script. So it's a very broad um, kind of spectrum and lots of different subjects in which I work. But that being said, it always comes down to the one thing that is absolutely basic to me. Change the way you feel about things and your life will change. Absolutely, and you can do that um, on a turn of a button, can't you? It can be so quick, and actually, for me, a lot of my therapeutic work is actually helping people understand that change happens in an instant, and that actually, it's okay, and things haven't gone mad, and you know, and that basically, you know, I'll have a lot of people leave my therapy room going, well, Dawn, it's because you're nice. And, you know, I'm sure that I'll feel differently about it and I step out of here and I say, go and test, go and live it, go and see and come back to me. Because actually once they've changed their energy about things, really released it, then the world will be back to you absolutely instantaneously. Um, you're all right, yes. So you mentioned EFT and NLP. Um, there are a lot of people who don't know what they are. Do you want a yeah. quick explanation with Fabi? Absolutely. Well, NLP is um, short for Neuro Linguistic Programming, and it's all about the way that your mind works, the way that you communicate with yourself, and then basically how you communicate with other people. So I almost see it like interior design, but for your mind rather than something else. You know, you might yeah. have a great sofa that really, really love and works really well for you, but you might have a dodgy pair of blinds that doesn't really work for you. And actually, your mum put them up there and they've not been letting the light in. So using the way your language, your body, your body language, your behaviours, it all talks about rearranging things so that you your content works best for you and not um, and you learn how to communicate more effectively with other people as well yeah. so um that's how i would describe nlp um emotional freedom technique is my absolute go-to it's um an energy psychology which um has its roots in acupuncture actually it's the same sort of thing that your thought and your experiences, if they've been neg if they're negative and habitually negative, it will create a block in your energetic system. So the meridians running up and down your body will have a block in it. And if I were to give you a battery and say, hold, hold the negative pole in one hand, hold the positive pole in the next, and I asked you about something that was holding you back, I would see on a screen, I was holding one, a little spike 
in your energy field. What we want is your energy field to be zen and relaxed and flowing. Any block can be felt in the body as well, actually. And so what I do, the emotional freedom technique is essentially tapping on acupressure points. People might have heard it called tapping as well. Um, and you tap on certain acupressure points whilst you give your attention to the belief or the experience that has been holding you back and it actually smooths out the spike and helps you release it. Clients quite often release in tears or in laughter or burps, I've had a lot of burpers. Um, however it works, there's usually a physical response to it. And then once the client has fully released that, they'll be able to go back to that limiting belief or they'll be able to revisit that traumatic experience and not feel it. They won't be carrying it around with them. And that's really important because energetically, whatever we believe, whatever we think vibrates out into the universe and shapes our, our world through our filters of perception. So that's why what you think is so, so important to how you see the world. Yes, so when you mention your limiting beliefs, hmm. there's no getting away from it that um, you know, even before we're born, when we conceived, and certainly when we were growing up, the first the formative years, everybody's heard of those, they are real. They really do shape your life. And you, you are saying that with your work with NLP, with EFT, and I know you do hypnosis as well, um, and other things, you can you can change that. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you're absolutely right. And they've shown that actually if you're exposed to a stressful environment, um, your your physiology and your, and your blood chemistry is changing even when you're in your final trimester in the womb. So it goes back as early as that. So um, absolutely, what you, what you experience between the ages of zero and seven is a straight download into your mind, into your perception. So actually we, we inherit and we take on a lot of stuff that at that time as our blueprint almost for normality, no matter how traumatic it is, no matter how negative it is. And again, as you say, in teenage years, when we're trying to break out of that and find ourselves, that can cause a lot of be it quite angsty for people as well. So the, the important thing with the work that I do is that actually some like a lot of conventional counselling, all you need to know is how you want to perform it. And so I think the beauty of our, the work that I do is actually drilling down on what those beliefs are. And most of the time it will be someone not feeling good enough. Yes. In some way, yes. shape, or form. It all kind of comes down to that. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So if, um, if I, for example, um, you know, was fearful of, of life in general without going into any big um, hoo-ha, yeah. what could I do myself? You know, if I feel this fear, what could I do straight away to help me? You can essentially just, the first thing to do is to acknowledge it, Lindsay. So, you know, a lot of people don't acknowledge it and they will actively suppress what they feel and think oh that's silly or invalidate it and then it will just create more and more tension and anxiety for them if you if you acknowledge it then through breathing through sun tapping so there's a faster eft technique you can do which is essentially just tapping on the top of your head tapping here uh -huh. tapping here uh -huh. and tapping here then tapping on the sternum, just between the collarbone and where you would, you know, and where your bra would start, the cleavage part. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you take your, that's it, take a nice deep breath in, think of something happy, and just let it go. So, I'm and seeing that as Yeah. So if you're feeling fearful, quite often fear lives in the chest part of your body or in the, in your stomach. And so, but it can be different for lots of different people. All you have to do is acknowledge it, Say to yourself, well, it feels quite tight, or give it a number, zero to 10 or whatever, and then literally do the five steps. Release, 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 release. Think of a happy thing. Think of something that makes you smile, and peace. Nice. So that's nice. faster EFT, and that's really, really good. 
really think about the happy place because that's the important thing. We don't because we're tapping in, tapping it, tapping out is fine, releasing is fine, but quite often people might get bound up in it and start tapping in the fear because you can tap in as well. So it's important that when you've done the releasing that you can do a nice deep breath in and think of something that really breaks that and think, you know, bucket puppies or, you know, whatever it is that really makes you smile, makes you laugh. That bit's really important. So it's just release, 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 happy place and peace. You will feel better. That in itself, you know, it's taking your mind away from whatever it is and then going to the happy place. I and mean, that's the happy place, even if it's just a smile. Absolutely. It's all about breaking state. And particularly in these times with what's happening now with coronavirus and things, we get so caught up in state. So, you know, if you're not feeling great, you will then read something. You know, there's so much of media going on, so much talk about it. It's really about disengaging from that and breaking your with it. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I'm a great believer in, um, in change and changing how you think if it's something that doesn't suit you. And sometimes, you know, if, I, if I'm finding, I will take my attention away to like this glass of water. I'll start thinking about the water, just anything to take Absolutely. away those Absolutely. thoughts. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, if it's more persistent, you can ask yourself, what is it that I need right now? So if you are feeling scared, what does that part of you need right now? If it needs a hug, find someone to give you a hug. If you are looking by yourself, Find a quilt, find something warm and comforting that will give you that. Do you know, it's not about dismissing it and it's not about really engaging, as you say, with it. It's just about what do you need instead? Yeah, give, give yourself love as well because that's any kind of touch, you know. And I know they say don't touch your face, but you know, even if yeah. that makes you feel better, do it because fear lowers your immunity system anyway. And we, and so, you know, the more you can bring yourself into a place of comfort, then your immune system will, will immediately get stronger. And they've shown that touch is really important for that. And even if you just stroke your hair a bit, just do it. it you know, it makes you so it's not, it does feel nice. It does. It really does. When I was, um, I'm a hypnobirthing practitioner as well. And so when I was having my second daughter, that was one of the things I told my husband to do. I was like, stroke my hair all the time because immediately <sighs> takes you down into a more yeah. smooth place. Fabulous, fabulous. Well, Dawn, thank you so much. Um, our time has run out for you to actually. Yeah. I know, I know we can just go on like forever because it's just so fascinating. So I'll put the links um, that you give me. All those will be in the. And I know that if anybody wants to reach out to ask you for some help in some way, that you would willingly give that. Absolutely, help. absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully, the tapping will help anyone that watches this through the yes. time we're in right now. Ah, uh -huh. yes. And even if you, if, if you guys just sort of just do that and just you know it, it works. Uh -huh. it's fabulous. So I'm going to ask you this question so that. If you could only listen to one genre of music, what would that be? I have thought about it, and I would have to say it would have to be pop music. Oh. It covers, it touches into lots of other styles that I really, really like. And also, it's so difficult for people to create a pop hit, to be so universal. I just really respect people who can get, you know, people who slag off, you know, Taylor Swift or anything. She's a real, she's a, she's a master at what she does. And that song, Me, that she's got at the moment is so cheery every morning before school, my, my daughter and I would brush each other's hair and sing along to Me by Taylor Swift. It was brilliant. So pop music all the way. All right then. Well, I'm going to have to go and have a look at Taylor Swift because I have no. I mean, I've heard the name, but I have no idea what her music's like because I don't have kids at home. <laughs> no, but you know what? A catchy tune, you know, anything catchy, whether it's Chic La Freak or Taylor Swift or anything, anything that's got a little beat and a bit of an upbeat feel to it, I'm all for that. Oh, absolutely. I mean, in, in itself, I mean, it's again going back to what you do. If you just put some music on and dance about. That feels funny as well. Yeah, whatever feels good is what works right now. <laughs> right. Uh, well, thank you, Don. It's so wonderful to actually be able to meet you, even if it's virtually, and one day we will meet um, we will. face to face. Um, yeah. 
Well, it's wonderful. So thank you so much. Thank you, Lindsay. I love what you've been doing with now. Thank you so much for doing this for us all. Oh, it's my pleasure. And it's lovely. I, I, I adore it because I'm getting to know everybody in a really nice way, um, which I just love to do. It's it's more, um, it, mm, it brings me more into the group as well in itself. So anyway, I again, I could chat, chat, chat. So I'm going to say goodbye to everybody in now. And we'll catch you again tomorrow with another member of, our group now. So bye for now and everybody have a lovely rest of the day. There you go. Bye. bye, -bye.